Hi everybody, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make that lo-fi hip hop, or they also call it chill step or chill out uh, hip hop style piano sound. And we're gonna be using GarageBand to do this. You can do it in other digital audio workstations. The concept is still the same, um, but oftentimes in the lo-fi hip hop remixes, they're taking samples uh, of old, of actually real pianos, and then using those old samples that are quite low fidelity from old jazz records um, and things like that, and they're repurposing them as a loop. But I'm gonna show you how you can create the same kind of sound using a software instrument. It's really quite easy. We're just trying to emulate that old uh, you know, piano sound. So I'm going to uh, select software instrument, and this is really easy if you've got a MIDI keyboard set up and you're a piano player, but I'll also show you how you can do it if you don't have a MIDI keyboard and if you don't know how to play the piano, we can just uh, type in some chords using our mouse and computer keyboard, quite simple. So uh, this is a brand new GarageBand session and this is on Mac uh, OS. And then I'm going to, instead of the classic electric piano, which is the default loadout, I'm gonna go to the library and to open the and close the library, the shortcut is the Y key or the icon on the top left hand corner. Um, I'm going to instead select piano and select Steinway Grand Piano. Now I'm going to also change the beats per minute of this track to something more like a hip hop 80 or 90, that sort of chill down tempo. Uh, so I'm gonna select actually 90 beats a minute because I do have a loop also a hip hop loop that I'm just gonna drag in. Now I use Splice, which is a paid service. Uh, like you, you pay a small subscription fee each month and you get access to hundreds of thousands of different samples and loops. Um, I think, I'm not sure what the price is in USD. It's pretty cheap, I use it. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna check out Splice. Um, but I've got this loop here and I'm gonna drag that in to GarageBand. And this is just to give us a little bit of context right here. Let's have a quick listen to this hip hop loop. Okay, now I'm going to select the grand piano and I should be able to play a chord and hear that. And the other way you can do it without a MIDI keyboard is to right click on this track, create an empty MIDI region, which is one of the four options. And then we're going to double click on that region. And then down the bottom, you should get the piano roll editor that appears. And if you hold down your control key, your mouse pointer will turn into a little pencil. And you can actually draw in some notes. Um, so I'm just using my ears to make a minor seven chord there. And then you can change the length of those notes by I've just selected them all and dragged the uh, right hand side to make them longer. I can copy and paste those as well. And this will make a little chord progression for us. Let's have a listen. I might actually make that a bit longer. I'm gonna do another copy and paste. Control C and now Control V. I'm just dragging these two notes up and I'll do another one and let's see what that sounds like. So I need to change that third chord. That sounds better. So now what we want to do is try and emulate the old style recordings and the old recordings had a lot less low end and a lot less high end because they were recorded on analog mediums like vinyl uh, or um, magnetic tape. So what I want to do is open up the smart controls for this track by hitting this little icon right here or using the B key. 
And then I need to access the equalizer uh, for this, the parametric EQ. So you'll see down here, we have the controls and the EQ. I'm going to select EQ. And this uh, Steinway Grand Piano comes with its own equalizer. But we're going to use a high pass and a low pass filter, which is this one all the way to the left. This is the high pass. And we're going to engage the low pass filter, which is this one all the way at the right by clicking on it. And then what we want to do is drag the top one down and the bottom one up. And the further we get, the more tinny and old school it's going to sound. Let's experiment with that until we have the sound that we want. I'm just going to loop that section there. That's better. That's nice. That's given it a bit more of a vintage feel. Now, one other thing we can do is add some reverb and delay to this piano to make it sound like it's a bit more ambient because a lot of the hip hop remixes have that ambience to them. So down on the smart controls under the track, let me go back from this EQ to the controls and then I should be able to see this little plugins menu right here. And when I open up the plugins menu, I've got the master echo and the master reverb. That's why it's really important that I changed the beats per minute to match the loop here that I've got, which is a 90 beats per minute loop, because those echoes are going to be, um, you know, quarter notes or eighth notes within the beats per minute of the song. So it might sound a bit funny if it's not locked into that grid. So let's just dial these master echo and reverb up a bit and hear what it does to the piano. Now this would be a little bit more accentuated if I had some notes that were um, a little bit more, you know, less on the grid. So I'm going to actually play a few things in on my MIDI keyboard here to give you a bit more of that effect as well. So I'm going to select this grand piano track. Now I do have a bit of lag with this setup when I'm recording it. So let's see whether I can play something in. There we go, that wasn't too bad. And I can double click on that region and quantize that if I want, which will fix up the timing a little bit uh, of some of these notes. That's not too bad, actually. I think I'll keep that. So then, um... beautiful. So that is really that vintage kind of feel, that um, lo-fi piano. And you can make it even more lo-fi by going back to the equalizer uh, on the smart controls. So I'll open those smart controls again and just bringing that low pass filter, this top one down even more and it will make it more muffled and old sounding. Now, one last thing that I always like to do with my lo-fi hip hop remixes and tracks that I make is get some of that vinyl crackle um, like it's playing on an old uh, record player. And in Splice, I've downloaded some samples here. Let's, let me search my own library for vinyl. There's my vinyl sample there. So I can drag that in onto and it will create a new track for me. And that's another really handy tip for making something sound really vintage and I can just copy and paste this or loop this out because it's not a rhythmic sample. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. So these two actually might go well together. So I'm going to uh, create a new software instrument track with duplicate settings. And I'm going to 
drag the second performance down onto the second track because I think they might go well together. So they don't quite match up, so I'm going to double click on this one and just remove the underlying chords on it. And I'll just keep the melody that I played in. Let's see whether this now matches up. Beautiful. So there you go. That's a really simple and easy way to create that lo-fi piano sound that you hear on the hip hop remixes and the chill hop remixes. And if you found this content valuable, please subscribe to the channel for more content and leave a comment if you didn't understand anything in this video. And I'll see if I can help you out with your music production. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.